Hello, sports fans. Welcome to Super Sports Central. So today, Juan Soto turned down a 15-year, $440 million contract extension from the Nationals. And this is actually not the first time he's turned down a massive contract extension from the Nationals. Before the lockout began, he declined a 13-year, uh, $350 million extension. And he also declined another contract, but I can't find the details. Um, and now, this one that he declined today. But So, yeah, big news. Soto declined another contract extension from the Nationals. But the big news is that the Nationals are now going to entertain trade offers for Juan Soto. And it's going to take an absolutely massive trade offer to get Juan Soto, but I think a lot of teams are going to be trying to get him because he's one of the best players in baseball and still only 23 years old. Um, and just so you know, um, Soto rejected the largest contract in MLB history today. And for any team that trades for Soto, he's under team control till at least 2024 before he's eligible for free agency. So, my top five landing spots for Juan Soto, number five is the Giants. They were dark horses for trading for stars like Giancarlo Stanton and Bryce Harper. So why not add Juan Soto to that list? The Giants don't really have a whole bunch of like true franchise players. And it would make, and um, Soto would be replacing Buster Posey as the new face of the Giants franchise. Number four is the Seattle Mariners, so they could be looking to trade for Soto, and th that would give them another superstar. As it already looks like they have a superstar in the making in Julio Rodriguez. Um, but the Mariners are in a position to be buyers at the trade deadline. Um, they're on a 13-game winning streak, sitting in the wild card spot, still 10 games behind the Astros. So, not totally out of reach, but still not like they could just go win a game and be in first place. But, if they keep winning like they have, they've won 13 in a row. Plus, you add Soto, they may win a few extra. So, they could maybe even challenge the Astros for the top spot in the American League West. So, number four is the Mariners. Number three is the Toronto Blue Jays. So, when you look at the Blue Jays, they have a loaded roster. They are definitely just not performing up to their potential this season. Uh, they have several young players, um, and they could add Soto t to that list. Um, but the problem is they're going to have to pay them all, Vlad Jr., Bo Bichette, Soto. Um, so unless they're going to be willing to dish out a ton of money, um, it's probably not going to happen. But the Blue Jays could use some some kind of spark. Maybe firing manager Charlie Montoya was the spark they needed. Um, but they've been underperforming. Um and Soto could make them become, like, a true super team. Not, like, a super team, but, like, one of the most loaded rosters in the entire, uh, in all of baseball. Number two is the Dodgers. So, the Dodgers have, should have no problem. They have no problem paying anyone else. They have traded for superstars recently, like Mookie Betts, and two really, really good players last year in Trey Turner and Max Scherzer. So, the Dodgers are no stranger to blockbuster trades. So that's why Soto would make sense. And also... They've paid tons of players, uh, Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman, a whole bunch of others. No reason they wouldn't be willing to pay Soto. And number one is the Yankees. So Soto is a great fit for the Yankees. He could replace the struggling Joey Gallo in the outfield. And he's also a lefty hitter, which is perfect for the short porch and right field at Yankee Stadium. Um, and the Yankees also have some really, really good prospects to give back for Juan Soto. And now, you look at one of the Yankees' top prospects, uh, Jason Dominguez. He's supposedly going to be, like, the next big thing. He's supposedly like Mike Trout. But you look at him, you don't know if he's going to live up to that hype. And and number two, he's only four years younger than Soto. It's not like it's a huge age difference. Obviously, the Yankees would have to give away a whole lot more than just Jason Dominguez. They'd have to give up, like, a whole bunch of top prospects. Um, but the only reason the Yankees wouldn't go through with this is probably because they would wa not want to pay Aaron Judge and Juan Soto because Judge is a free agent at the end of this year, and he's in line for a massive deal because he's having a absolutely outstanding season. Um, and they're also going to have to pay Soto a lot. And as a Yankee fan, I definitely want them to get Juan Soto, but it seems like it's going to be, or I think it's going to be more like one or the other, either Judge or Soto. Um, but if they can do it, I know it's going to be a lot, but if Juan Soto is a Yankee, I would be very, very happy. 
So, those are my top five landing spots for Juan Soto. Let me know in the comments if you agree, disagree, and why. If I missed any team that should be on this list, let me know in the comments. I do my best to post as often as possible. Also, if you guys have any videos you want me to do, um, also let me know in the comments. There will be football previews for like the NFL and college football and stuff like that um, in, in the coming weeks. So make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss that. Um, so make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I do my best to post as often as possible, and I will see you in the next video.